So you're going into the coaching industry. Are you worried about what other people think or maybe you just won't be taken seriously as an expert? So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can overcome that. So stay tuned. So I started in coaching really, really early. I was age 19 and at the time, I felt like I needed all these certifications. I needed to have a bachelor's degree or even a PhD, right? Like I needed to know more than everybody else because I'm that competitive type person. I want to be the best and I'm sure that you're the same. Otherwise, you want to be in, going in the coaching, right? And so I was so focused on that. And I remember at the time I talked to anyone I possibly could about coaching, training, whatever it might be. How'd you get started? right? What steps did you go through? What certifications did you get? How did you start getting clients, right? When some of these we'll cover on this video. And one of the things that I got back continuously from different coaches and trainers was, you know what? Certifications are great. Bachelor's degree is great, but honestly, like you don't really need those things. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, you know, I mean, you're just getting information, but you're paying a lot for it when stuff you can learn on your own or even through others that have already done it. And I'm like, you're totally right. And I remember at that time I was living with my mom and my dad down the basement and I, I rushed home and I'm like, mom, guess what? I don't have to get a bachelor's degree. And as soon as I said that her face, <laughs> she was like, what do you, what do you think? Are you, are you serious right now? And I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't have to get a degree. And she thought getting a degree and getting a college education meant success. Okay, my parents didn't go very far, far in school. And they, so they had an idea that a college edu education was gonna get me to that next level. Okay, and it did help me in certain aspects, but for what I invested and what I actually got out of it, wasn't nearly as much as I got from just learning through other coaches, hiring other people and helping them help me build my business instead of learning all this unnecessary information. However, hindsight is 2020, right? That's why we do what we do is because we want to help people get through the journey faster. And so I felt like in order to be qualified as a coach, I needed all this information. I needed to know everything. I needed to know so much about the brain, so much about the body that no one else knew. However, information is everywhere, guys. And if you're expecting that your information is going to make you a better coach, then I've been there and I've done that. And um, one thing that I say over and over to people is fuck your information. And the reason why I say that is because it's, it's everywhere. It's not the information that holds people back from being successful. It's that they feel like maybe they're not good enough. They feel like they don't know anyone that really understands them. And it goes back to the quote, which I'm sure you've heard over a million times, which is people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so it really changed my perspective once I got in the coaching, just how pointless some of these things were that I, that I really got. And so the thing why people hire you is not what you know, it's through your experiences. Okay, your experiences are enough. And so when we start coaching from our experiences, it's real, it's more emotional. We've, we've been there, we've done that. And people want to learn from people who have more empathy, not sympathy. Okay, so because when we're approaching our business from a sympathetic sympathy standpoint, we're saying, I understand, okay, what you're going through. We try to sympathize, like we're trying to put ourselves in their perspective and then we're trying to coach them from an outsider's perspective as far as information goes. But now when we say, hey, I've experienced that same thing you're going through, I experienced how hard it is dating in this day and age. I've experienced how hard it is to build a real estate portfolio. I've experienced trying to drop body fat and build muscle. I've experienced not feeling too good about myself. I've experienced, you know, whatever it is that you're focusing on as an individual. So when we approach it from that standpoint, like I've actually experienced it, you'll always be enough. You will always be able to out coach someone who just knows the information. And also what you'll be, be able to provide is powerful insights 
powerful insight that the contrast person who's just learning the information will never have. And so what I've noticed with most coaches that I've worked with is people who've actually been through the experience, they're so much more powerful, influential, and they create more transformation in their clients because they're able to really relate with that person. Now they take the information they learned and they apply it to their experiences, okay? So I wanna show you a little picture of kind of what it represents is, you know, I always imagine that we're climbing this mountain, right? And so I always ask people, if this is the tip top of your success, where are you at on the mountain? You know, and someone might draw, well, you know, I'm right here. I go, okay, great. How many people do you feel like are below you trying to climb the same mountain? Okay. Or on a scale one out of 10, how far are you along in your journey? Well, you know, I'm a seven or I'm an eight. Well, why don't we help people who are going one through six? Can we help those people? Yeah, you totally can help those people, okay? Because you've experienced, okay, this entire journey. Okay, that's an R, just so you know. <laughs> okay, we've experienced this entire journey. So what I always tell people is honor your journey, okay? You're moving forward here. Okay, you have your own set of things you're trying to get past. You're not perfect. No one's perfect, right? <laughs> Everyone thinks like, because I'm a coach, I'm perfect. No, I probably fuck up more than most people do. Okay, but this is my journey. You've already been through this journey. Honor your journey. Honor what you've been through. You have powerful insight. You have powerful information. You have powerful things that you can share with people, okay? that are trying to go through this journey. And so this is what is called business and coaching alignment. Okay, you're coaching others who have been through your similar journey. Okay, you're always moving forward. And so let's say that in a year or two, like you go from seven to nine, now you're gonna help people that are one on levels one through eight. Okay, and you just keep moving up in your business. And so this is essentially where I started. Okay, and the biggest thing that holds people back is they go, well, I'm not rich like some of these other people or I don't have as much money. And I was like, people are so focused about what you have when really it's about who you are, what is your being and what you do. And essentially what that is, that's mind and body. You know things and you've experienced things in your body, you have mindsets, you have skill sets that other people don't have, okay? You have knowledge, okay? You know what patterns and behaviors that need done, okay, in order to have a result, okay? So never let money or how much you have, do you have a nice car, you know, do you have the perfect body? You know, some of the best trainers I've actually ever known didn't have the best body. And people that we look at as the pinnacle of success as far as body goes, they're taking tons of steroids, they're taking tons of shit, and yet we think, oh, because they have that, they must know how to do it, okay? And it's just not true, okay? So don't ever let not having something hold you back from really what you want to create. So people ask me, okay, that makes sense. I can start today, but where do I start? Like, how do I really start in this coaching business? And the truth of it is you got to start with you. You got to start with uncovering this journey. Okay. What did I believe as I was going through these different parts? What was false? What was negative? Okay. What are some things that I did were wrong? What are some things I did that were right? All right, what are, what's the journey really look like? And so now when we start to see our journey, now it's sharing it on Facebook, it's sharing it on Instagram, it's sharing it on videos, and it's really showing people what you've actually been through, okay? And I believe that's what makes me a great coach is because I've, I've really messed up on a lot of things. I made $75,000 my first four years total, total, okay? So I know what it's like to travel the coach's journey. However, we've been able to do that same amount in six weeks, okay? So you can continue to climb up this mountain 
And as you continue to grow, as far as your numbers, you can continually help people. So where do you start? You start with uncovering your journey. You start with going back. What are some valuable insights? Okay, who would this really be for? Okay, what, what type of program could I provide? And start to get really clear on what you're really offering people. So many people want to just, like, I want clients. That's great. Everyone wants clients, but we really need to uncover what does that look like for them? How are we truly going to help them? And just to be honest, the biggest thing that holds people back is that they haven't been through other coaching programs. So when people ask me, well, what does a program even look like? I don't know how to structure a program. That tells me immediately you haven't done the work yourself. Okay. It all starts with working with other coaches in our niche, outside of our niche, and consistently being the person that we would want our clients to be, which is asking for help, reaching out and getting insight and programs to help us move forward. So when people say, well, that's kind of manipulative, it's just the fucking truth. I, I just can't put it any other way. The best coaches believe in coaching. That's it. And the people that are struggling is because they haven't been through a coaching program. They haven't worked with individuals. So now when it comes time to really offer a program, they have no clue on how to do it because they haven't really experienced what other people are doing. Okay. So the most important, and that's essentially what held me back. Okay. As I was so stuck on information, I was so stuck on learning that I wasn't hiring other coaches. I wasn't hiring mentors and people that could really help me do this and learn how to figure it out. Cause I had my own blocks. I had my own insecurities. I had my own things that I was working through. Okay. So hiring a coach is something that's imperative, but also making sure that you're consistently going back and improving this process so you can help people move their, their journey. So during, at this stage in time, people are asking, well, how do I be a good coach then? Cause I don't want to not deliver results to my clients. I want to be the best that's out there. Well, good, 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 good thing you asked for that. Cause in my next video, I'm going to talk about what you need to do in order to be one of the best coaches. Okay. Be inspired guys, be next gen. And again, the world needs you.